We believe yeah. that leaving Canada is definitely the right choice. Yeah. Mereka bule ini ya guys, pasangan suami istri lebih memilih di Malaysia daripada Kanada. Karena kenapa? Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh Jumpa lagi dengan saya guys Cak Mujib Gimana kabar teman-teman semua Semoga sehat selalu dalam lindungan Allah SWT Dijauhkan dari segala merah bahaya Malam petaka bencana dan balak Serta berbagai macam penyakit Amin amin ya rabbal alamin Alright guys kali ini kita akan reaksi sebuah video ya guys ya, Ini sangat-sangat menarik sekali Requestan daripada kawan-kawan sekalian nih guys ya Karena kenapa ya Sepasang suami istri bule ini Memilih tinggal di Malaysia dan dia sangat-sangat senang ya tinggal di Malaysia Apa alasannya mereka akan sebutkan di videonya guys Jadi tonton sampai selesai Jadi buat teman-teman semua jangan skip video ini Tonton sampai selesai biar tidak salah informasi Jom kita tengok videonya guys Let's go Assalamualaikum everybody Waalaikumsalam Welcome back to the channel To the channel? To our channel? Our channel? Our channel? The channel? Yeah, so I think it's been a while since we sat down and did a video. We've mostly just been like doing vlogs, but I'm sure you guys are really interested as to what's going on with our life. Yeah, so here we are sitting in beautiful Malaysia, Kuala Lumpur oh, to be Kuala specific. Lumpur. And we thought we would kind of give you guys a reason why we believe yeah. that leaving Canada is definitely the right choice. Yeah, I think the number one thing that we can agree on is the weather. I will never ever disagree with that. Yeah, so okay, the weather has been ya. incredible. It's the same year round. Um, Suhoor, if our time is the same year round. Pretty much, yeah. The very small variance. Yeah. I yeah. know in Canada, sometimes you've got like six hours difference between summer and winter with, yeah. with the sun setting, uh, sun rising. So it so becomes a little bit more difficult. Ramadan, sure. Ramadan is really hard in Canada, especially wow. in the summertime when the hours are really long. Yeah, it's like breezy. It doesn't feel like like super hot. It's just it's. Perfect, One thing that I love about KL in particular is okay. that it can be super hot and sunny mm -hmm. and then it will, the rain will come in and cool everything off and then it'll get humid. Yeah. Okay. But it, you know, there's a lot of cloud cover throughout the day because you are in the rainforest essentially. So mm -hmm. you do get breaks. It's not like, like in yeah, Dubai it's where it's like heat hot. all the time and yeah. you, you can't get away from yeah, it you except feel like, going inside. You feel like you're being cooked yeah. in Dubai. I don't feel like that here. I just feel like it's a consistent, well, it's kind of like a sauna. I don't know. Well, he did get a sunburn. Let's talk about the sunburn. Talk about getting cooked. <laughs> yeah, definitely. His skin was literally peeling. Yeah. Number two, number two is the acceptance of all people. Like we've come here and we've noticed how multicultural it is. Okay. We had a good idea of that last time yeah. when we came. Yeah. But yeah, being able to see people of different religions, yeah. different cultures, yeah. all assimilating into the overwhelmingly predominantly Muslim population. Yeah, is not just that. Cool. Not just that, but everyone speaks English. Like yes. even even when we've gone yeah, to like the village areas, you okay. might find some people that have a hard time you speaking can get it, by. but you can absolutely yeah. get by. Everybody speaks English. Every where you go, there's signs in English. Like there's no like language barrier here that we found mm. and it's fantastic. It makes okay. us feel like at home. Unlike when we were in Turkiya last week okay. in Ankara like yeah. nobody speaks English. Mereka sampai just... merasa itu kayak rumah sendiri ya guys ya karena saking bagusnya di sana itu ya pakai bahasa Inggris juga bisa gitu ya guys ya. Dan mereka sudah kayak ya ini kayak komunitas mereka sendiri gitu ketika mereka tinggal di Malaysia gitu ya guys ya. Just that but like no signs are in English. No signs are in English. The food like you pick the up menus. food, the menus like everything is in Turkish. And there's no like translation to English. Wait, is it still called Turkish or is oh, it like okay, Turkish? Turkish. I don't know. I'm not sure. But anyways, that's Let us that's know down two. below. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. And then the third one would be the cost of living. Yeah. Uh huh. It's, oh, for sure. It's like astronomically lower than Canada. It's like in Canada, you're always you're always very conscious uh -huh. about yeah. what you spend, where you spend, how much you spend. Yeah. Here, obviously. For budgeting purposes, you should still be conscious of where your money is going. Yeah. But I feel like there's not as much stress on it. Oh, it's yeah. like you know that yeah. it's okay to eat out more than it is back at home because yeah. you have the flexibility. You know yeah. it's relatively inexpensive. Yeah. Um, depending where you go, you can eat you know, yeah. super cheap. Yeah, you can eat cheap. So for instance, to give you an example, um, a, a family meal for all of us is generally over a hundred dollars back yeah. in Canada, oh. and that's like not exaggerating. That's like how it much it costs. And yeah. here. 
you can get by on like twenty thirty dollars and yeah. like get a lot of food for the whole family to eat. And while we're talking about food, I will say that I am a Tim Hortons addict. So all you yeah. Canadians out there, you know what I'm talking about. <laughs> I don't care about Starbucks. It's boycott. Um, but uh, boycott here for sure. Yeah. Stock prices have plummeted here. Anyway, so I was like, for he me, needs a substitute. I need a substitute in right? Malaysia. <laughs> if you're an addict, you can't just jump from from you know something to nothing. You gotta have that segue. Yeah. And for me, I found Tea Alive. Tea Alive. Which okay. has, it's like the Malaysian Tim Hortons. But it's no, it's way, it's way, but it's it's less like Tim Hortons and more like Starbucks. Yeah, it's unique. because its focus is on drinks. And not and so like much fancy, like sandwiches and fancy drinks. Yeah, like not like just like she has the bones. she has the the Biscoff oh, smoothie thing. So it's good. unreal. And it's for me, so just the the traditional what is it? Just traditional milk tea. Milk tea. It's so good. Shout out to Tea Alive. So yeah. shout out to Tea Alive. I love it. I'm addicted. Yeah. Yeah. It didn't take very long, but I have a new substitute addiction. Yeah. So now, so now he has a replacement for that. So that's good. Anyway, so the second thing is. Second, we're on like fourth. No, 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 no. Third, the second fourth? thing about cost of living oh, okay. is uh, cell phones. We got a bill. It was like six hundred dollars Canadian, <laughs> and that was like for like two months. But you, then again, we had some roaming charges and stuff in no, there too. No, there's no, there's no excuse. There's no excuse when you it's find insane. out what it costs for a cell phone here. It oh, yeah. costs us, and we're still using this. We're still using. We haven't the data. repaid it. The data is ten times the amount of data we get in Canada. By the way, so it feels like that. It's, it's like eighty, I think eighty gigs per phone, and then you get your minutes and all that sort of yeah. stuff for. Like twelve dollars each Canadian. Like okay. let that sink in. Twelve dollars. Our our Your cell full phone, phone bill, plan for twelve dollars. Our actual cell phone bill in Canada for two phones is two hundred bucks. Yeah. Okay. It's about it, it hurts. Each. It like it actually hurts knowing we're still paying our cell phone bill back in Canada and then the one that we're paying here and it's just Yeah. You get way more here. Anyways, yeah. it hurts. Yeah. And then the other thing is housing. Housing is very affordable. For, substantially. And being a Muslim living in Malaysia versus in Canada is you have a plethora of of options in terms of buying your own home here that you wouldn't have back there. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So many, many options. So basically, okay. like we when we started off talking about this specific category, cost of living, the money that you would save, you can then use for other things uh -huh. like traveling. Like we're going to Indonesia this weekend. Yeah. Plan to go to Thailand, hopefully before oh, we head back to Canada. Jala -jala. Purchasing wow. extra cups of tea along the way. Oh, you know what I mean? Like you just have the extra money from saving. So that you can, you can blow live in a different way, like 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 it's your, your quality like, of life is like way better because like you're it, saving it's money. It's like wow. just from moving from there to here, your tax bracket just increases. Yeah. Right. Is you have so much more money. Yeah, alhamdulillah. And it's crazy, especially yeah. if you're parents and you've got a family. Like we've oh, got three incredible. kids, and back home everything is so expensive. Mm -hmm. Whether it's uh, we don't Go do groceries. we don't do childcare, but I mean, childcare for yeah. a lot of people is a very big issue. Yeah. Um, groceries is huge. Oh, groceries. The cost of in, and inflation and all that yeah. sort of stuff. Uh, extracurricular programs. Housing. Housing. Just house the rent bills, yeah. has gone up oh, so bro, much that know. people yeah. can't afford to live in yeah. Canada anymore. It's it's not cool. So that's why we're saying, guys, you should come here. So yeah. Next category. Next category is very specific to us, but this is what we found: is there there's a really awesome homeschool community mm -hmm. here. Um, a lot of them are expats, but okay. the connections that people have with one another, it's so nice. Everyone's willing to help wow. everyone. Um, people are just really open and just like ready to, you know, be friends and make connections and mm -hmm. invite people over. And the, the community feel, I guess, yeah. is more so like. And what I think we maybe really that's liked. in part due to the fact that there are a lot of expats here. Yeah. So they do kind of stick together as like we're all not from here. We all yeah. speak English. Um, and we're homeschooling our kids, so yeah. we should stick together. Wow. Yeah. It's yeah. really cool. It's, like, it's I love that. Cool. I love that uh, community aspect. Okay, and then the next thing is one thing that we just love is the support for Palestine. Absolutely. It's Absolutely. everywhere. If you guys didn't check out the last or one of the last shorts that we did, I don't even think it's posted on YouTube at this moment. It will be though. It will be. By that time. Um, we, we, had a, we had to go from um, our, the boat to our hotel. And it was a 20 minute drive and the kids counted and, and videoed a lot of them, 22 Palestinian flags yeah. in okay. this short 20 minute drive. Yeah. And this is on an island, which is like the tourist island. So the support so the for Palestine is, is it's immense amazing. here. Yep. And not just that, but they've boycotted like huge brands. They, no, not just, they boycott anybody. If you anybody, have anything if you have to do any with Israel, ties to Israel, done. you're done. Yeah, you're yeah. done. I we love show, it. Even we showed up, we're like, oh, let's go here. They're like, oh, we're boycotting them. Like, yeah, really? I think it was like Subway or something. Like, no, we boycotted it. I was like, what? Even my, my friend, he, it was Malay. He's like, okay. He's like, wait. He's like, he has to like check with his wife because she's like, she's got the she list knows down. The list. He's like, so are we, are we boycotting them? Are we? 
Yeah. It? He's like, I used I to go here like to get ice, ice cream. cream, but yeah. I can't now because they're on the list. But yeah. it's amazing, like the fact that they are uh -huh. so open about their support for Palestine and there's no discrimination against people that are openly supporting yeah. Palestine, Crazy. that's incredible. Like you can't walk in the street of Toronto with like a Palestine flag or a Gefya with someone without someone being like... Yeah, you're a Hamas supporter. Yeah, you're a Hamas supporter. You support terrorism. Or the, fact, the simple fact that the premier of Ontario called it like a terrorist flag, the Palestine flag. Yeah. They called it, he called it a terrorist flag. Like. And the fact that you are shamed for standing with the oppressed, it, you don't find that here. Yeah, no. It's amazing. They, Malaysia does it right when it yeah. comes down to human rights and, and what, what's going on in the world. Mm -hmm. They stand firmly on the side uh, against genocide. Mm -hmm. And they, have made, they make no bones about it. Yeah. They're proud of that. Yeah. And so we that's definitely a huge reason it. why we love it. So yeah, if you guys have uh, any more questions, please leave them down below. We'll try to go through those and answer as many comments as we can. Um, and if there's a specific video that you want us to do regarding moving here, whether it's from Canada or wherever, um, definitely let us know and we'll try to add it to our list of videos to film. Yeah, and I will say these chairs are horribly uncomfortable. Very, my back hurts yeah. a lot. <laughs> well, I have to hunch over because if I sit up straight, and I'm almost out of the frame. That's like the only way you can sit on these things. All right, guys, we'll see you in our next one. All right, guys, salam alaikum. Wa alaikum salam. Oke okay guys, mereka bule ini ya guys Pasangan suami istri lebih memilih di Malaysia daripada Kanada Karena kenapa banyak sekali alasan-alasan yang mereka sudah sampaikan tadi Mereka nyaman dengan orang-orang Malaysia Mereka nyaman dengan uh, apa namanya itu suasana dan cuaca yang ada di Malaysia Dan yang paling penting lagi Malaysia mensupport 100% kepada Palestina dan itu yang membuat pasangan tadi lebih suka lagi dan faktanya memang sangat-sangat suka kepada Malaysia guys ya wow itu terbaik sih jadi Malaysia menjadi daya tarik tersendiri kepada bule-bule ataupun pelancongan yang mereka memutuskan juga untuk tinggal di Malaysia guys keren banget ya itu dulu videonya guys terima kasih udah tengok video ini sampai selesai jangan lupa like share dan subscribe saya